Genre, Realistic Fiction. Second Day, First Impressions, by Michelle Knudsen. Illustrated by Craig Orbach. Essential Question. What can lead us to rethink an idea? Read about a team's adventure as they figure out clues to a scavenger hunt. Louisa hesitated at the park entrance, scanning the sea of strangers for red t-shirts and trying to ignore the butterflies in her stomach. The entire fifth grade of Greenhaven Elementary was spread out before her, along with assorted teachers and parent volunteers, wandering the sun-dappled grass and gathering excitedly in color-coded groups for the morning's event. She finally spotted her teacher, Mr. Martucci, waving at her with a clipboard from the shade of a huge oak tree. She made a beeline for him. Three of her teammates were already there. Louisa had met them yesterday in class. The boys leaning on the fence were Tyler and Sam, and the tall girl near them was Devon. Louisa hadn't had an opportunity to get to know any of them yet. Maybe today, she thought hopefully. This was her first real chance to start making some friends in this new town. She just had to get off on the right foot. All right, everyone, announced Principal Goldstein into her megaphone. I know you are all anxious to begin, so please assemble with your teams to start the annual Greenhaven 5th grade second day of school scavenger hunt. Remember, you have unique sets of clues, so don't get distracted by what your rival teams are doing. The finish line is not marked on your maps. You must figure out the clues to get there. The first team to reach the finish line will be our winners. Another boy from Louisa's class, Halen, dashed over to their group. He was panting audibly as he stumbled to a stop, his sneakers untied, his red shirt inside out, and his hair a crazy mess on top of his head. Overslept again? Tyler asked. How'd you know? Halen seemed genuinely perplexed as he knelt to tie his laces. Tyler, Sam, and Devin smiled, rolling their eyes. And... Go! Go! Shouted, shouted Mrs. Mrs. Goldstein. Goldstein. Mr. Martucci, Martucci produced a small, small cream-colored cream envelope, envelope and ripped it open. Ripped it open. They all they leaned all in to read their first, first clue. clue. Welcome, Welcome explorers. explorers. It's, time, it's to time to begin. You'll have to, be, have to be both quick and, quick and clever, and to, clever win. to win. Think of the one, the one place, place that has the most the letters. letters. Then go there, go there to go on, Greenhaven go-getters. Mr. Martucci handed the map and clue to Devin and stepped back. Okay, Red Team, he said. Go to it. I'm just here to keep you company. It's your job to decipher the clues and determine where to go next. Louisa held back, uncertain, but the others jumped right in. Maybe the movie theater, suggested Kevin. That's 12 letters. Greenhaven Public Library has 23, said Sam, pointing at the map. Wait, you guys, said Tyler. It's a clue, right? We should have to, you know, figure something out, not just count letters. That was a good point, Louisa realized, relieved that she hadn't blurted out something ridiculous before Tyler pointed out they were on the wrong track. Oh, letters, Halen exclaimed, grinning. Not alpha letters, letters, the kind you mail. mail. It's the post, it's the post office. office. They took off for the post, the post office, office at a run. run. Louisa necessarily let the others, let others take the lead, since, since she was still she was unfamiliar, unfamiliar with much of the area. area. Taped to the, the stately, stately front, front door, door was another was another envelope, which Halen tore open to reveal, reveal the, next the next clue. clue. Your next, next stop is one you'll be happy to make. You'll wish you had time to stop for a break. A sweet place to go for that birthday surprise. Hurry on over and good things will rise. Stop and check. Reread. Why does Louisa hold back instead of speaking up? Rereading may help you. Come on, 
Louisa told herself firmly. You have to attempt to contribute. Maybe, maybe it means someplace with an elevator? Things will rise? No, wait. I've got it, Sam said. The bakery. That's where you'd get a birthday cake for a surprise party. And cakes are good things that rise. Louisa glanced around, embarrassed, but no one seemed to care that her idea had been wrong. And now that she thought about it, Sam and Devin's ideas for the first clue had been wrong too, and no one had teased them or anything. The butterflies in his stomach seemed to be fluttering a little less as she headed toward the bakery with the others. Through the bakery's front window, they spotted the next envelope attached to the cake display case. Sam darted inside to retrieve it maneuvering deftly around amused bakery patrons, then read the clue aloud. Think of our founder, the great you-know-who. He started this town back in 1802. Make your way now to his last resting place. But time's growing short. Pick up the pace. Hey! I actually know this one, Louisa thought, astonished. To the cemetery, Devon cried. No, wait, Louisa said, stopping them. That's not right. It said his last resting place. That sounds like a cemetery to me, said Devon. Louisa nodded. I know, but he wasn't buried in the cemetery. I, I, I did some reading when my family decided to relocate here. The founder was actually buried near the library. There's a tree with a little plaque with his name engraved on it and everything, right out front. The other kids looked at each other. I've walked by that library almost every day of my life, Sam said. I never knew that. Good save, Devin said to Louisa. We'd have lost valuable time if we had to retrace our steps from the cemetery. We still need to hurry, Tyler reminded them pointing at a group of yellow shirt students running purposefully across an intersection. Stop and check. Reread. What error was the team about to make? How does Louisa help? Use the strategy reread.